good evening friends welcome to adda 247 we are in cracker mcq series and from today we'll be starting module b of bfm remember we have covered module a b c d of abm first only so today we'll be starting module b very important module because almost 25 to 30 marks are dependent on module b and what is this module b this is related to risk risk management banking means basically topic is of risk okay so follow this series completely and watch this video till the end okay before moving ahead download adda 247 app on your mobile in this app you you will get premium study materials current affair job alert daily quizzes subject wise quizzes you name it you have it plus very importantly live classes and also the recorded videos if you miss the classes then you'll also get the recorded videos got it so everything is there also subscribe to officers at the youtube channel this youtube channel is free so subscribe to it we are carrying out with this series this this mcq series is going on on uh, officers at the 247 only so subscribe share with your friends let others also gain isn't it because here sharing is caring basically okay we have started this batch from october 3rd now remember October third, it is already just now started. So go for this batch immediately. Full batch, ABM, BFM, retail, complete coverage. And importantly, remember, December two zero two two is your last exam with the current portion. May twenty three, new exam, new portion. Okay, use this code Y four three two. Okay, I'll come to this later. Let's start with the series. Okay, yesterday I had given you one homework, and that homework was. an lc was available for shipment by monthly installments for ready made garments from india the shipment for march 2009 was eff not affected with the time available with the time available for that installment within the time available for that installment so as per ucpdc many of the lc can ship the uh, two installments together in april 2009 the credit ceases to exist to be available for that and subsequent installments unless otherwise stated in the credit even earlier installments will not be covered under the, under this lc and d is d was either a and c okay now look at this question <coughs> what has happened fail there was a shipment to be done in march so this person had done it correctly in february 1000 goods okay let's say in march he was not able to ship okay so what is the point now so will this lc exist for the further day months or will this lc end can he ship in april both the things march and april no so see here what does ucb clause says ucb clause says that it's b answer credit ceases to be available for that and subsequent installments unless otherwise stipulated in the credit if credit states that okay you can ship it later also then it's okay credit is supreme always okay but if it does not state then credit will not exist for any of the installments from even for march now because date is gone march april any any of the installments it is not available okay so the answer was b right from today we are starting with this risk uh, management part okay so let's start with the questions risk is defined as uncertainty is resulting in what do you mean by risk basically in finance okay i'll ask you one question if tomorrow somebody goes on the fifth floor of a building and uh, says he'll jump now so is there any risk involved somebody going from the fifth floor and jumping from there okay is there any risk involved regarding the life of that person i would say no risk why if somebody jumping from the fifth floor it is sure he's going to die so where is the risk risk means what there should be an uncertainty whether it will happen or not happen okay so that is understand the concept of risk first okay risk is defined as uncertainties resulting in first adverse outcome adverse in relation to the planned objectives or expectations adverse variations of profitability and outright losses both a and b and none of these <coughs> so it can be what it can be here uncertainty uh, remember the word what did i say jumping from the fifth floor no uncertainty you uh, anybody is going to die so there is no uncertainty but whether something will happen or not that's called as uncertainty right so 
risk is defined as uncertainties resulting in adverse outcome outcome means what whatever i expected whether that will come or not adverse in relation to the planned objectives means what i had planned whether it will come or not okay second adverse variation of profitability or outright losses simple logic same profitability means whether that profit which i have thought it will arrive or not if it will it will not arrive then i am at a risk okay so the answer is what a b or c definitely not d okay so a b or c is it outcome is it profitability or both correct yeah answer it in the comment section fast Fine. Uh, write the answer in the comment section. A, B, or C. Fast, fast, fast. Right. The answer is C. Because ma what is the outcome of any company? The outcome of any company is profit. Right. Any company exists for profit. If there is no profit, there is no company, isn't it? Financial risk is defined as what is financial risk? What did I tell you about the risk? Uncertainty. Now, same logic will apply to financial also. uncertainty in cash flow cash flow means whatever is coming to me see here cash flow can be defined as cash flow incoming and cash flow outgoing so both of them if there is an uncertainty in both of them it's definitely a risk variations in net cash flow net what do you mean by net cash flow you might have studied that npv net present value right so net cash flow means what net of whatever is going out and coming out uh, coming in right so variations in net cash flow uncertainty is resulting in the outright losses outright means there is no chance that the word meaning of the word outright is there is no chance of get uh, recovering those losses gone means gone uncertainty is resulting in outright losses so is this also financial risk so what is the answer a b c or d all of the above yes type it fast in the comment section everyone ever i want everyone to type in the comment section fast okay firstly like this video share it with your friends let others also gain see here it's a free material so let others also gain it freely because don't know this question itself might come in the exam okay somebody will give you the blessings right so the answer is what is the answer over here d right all of the above it is related to everything cash flow net cash flow and losses right uncertainties in cash inflows or and or cash outflows create uncertainties in, in means uncertainty in cash inflow means whether that cash inflow will come or not whether that customer will give me the money or not cash outflow whether the supplier will uh, charge me this much amount or that much amount if he is going to charge me at a rate of 100 then my cash outflow is different if he is going to charge me at a rate of 200 my cash flow is different outflow is different right so uncertainties in cash flow inflow and outflow create uncertainties in net cash outflow profits both a and b and none of these what is this very simple question what is the what is a cash inflow and outflow the difference between what is the different what is the difference between inflow and outflow what are remains is my profit so it uh, creates uncertainty in what whether it will create in a yes definitely whether it will create in b profits definitely because inflow is more outflow is less i am having profit inflow is less outflow is more i am having a loss isn't it so b is also the answer so the answer is what c both a and b correct so the right answer is c okay got it which of the following is not correct now see here look at this question carefully not correct whatever you will feel correct you don't tick that because in exam such questions do arrive not correct we have to check okay lower risk implies lower variability in cash flow what do you mean by this lower risk okay now remember one simple rule of finance the rule is high risk high returns low risk low returns okay so low risk implies lower variability variations in the net cash out outflow yeah uh, cash flow Okay, I'll give you an example. If you put your money in FD, what is the rate of FD going on? Roughly four, five percent, not more than six percent, anywhere. Okay. So, is there a risk involved in that FD? If it's a good nationalized bank, if it's some uh, smaller bank, there's a risk. But in national, good nationalized bank or pri good private bank, no risk. But when there is no risk, 
there is also no cash uh, cash inflow net right 4% and 5% what is, what will it give you so low variability no variability immediately once it is fixed that this much monthly interest you will get that much monthly interest you will get at any cost right so which of them is not correct so this is correct but i want not correct so this is the wrong answer for me right second firstly check everyone check the options and give me the answer okay higher vari variability in net cash flow may result in higher profits or higher losses means if there is a higher variability variability means fluctuations here it's like this if this is the mean graph of anything and if the variability is low it means it will be like this okay and if the variability is high it will be like this all the seasonal trends do you remember that seasonal trend this is called as variability so if higher variability see here if it's a higher level my inflow goes at a higher level i'll have huge profits if my outflow goes at a higher level i'll have huge losses so b may also be true right so b uh, if b is true then i want what not correct so i want a false one so this is also wrong then now you answer you guys okay all of these you are saying it higher risk would imply a higher upside or downside potential so if it's a higher risk look at this graph only what do you say this part has higher risk or this part has higher risk which one which graph has higher risk this graph or this graph definitely you will see this graph why because there is a higher end on the upper side also higher end on the lower side also so what does c say higher risk would imply higher upside or downside potential see here higher risk means it can go up higher it can come down higher uh, lower okay so c is also correct but i want false so this is true so this is not the answer for me so which one of them is false then everyone is true so the correct answer is d none of these right got it simple now one question for the homework look at this homework A return on zero risk investment would be dash as compared to other opportunities in the market means what A return on zero risk investment zero risk investment means where i don't have any risk what did what is the ratio i told you high risk high returns low risk low returns so apply that logic over here so zero risk investment will give me what higher returns or lesser returns with as compared to other things high low medium high or low depending upon the type of investment you answer it okay i'll check the answer tomorrow okay now before going this class on start has already started on october 3rd abm bfm retail all the numericals case studies objective questions theory questions everything is covered so go for this class immediately why because december 2022 is your last exam with your current portion may 23 new exam new portion and what am i telling you why am i stressing so much on this december 22 exam i'll come to this later firstly i'll show you how to use this code y432 see here the fees for this class and everything i'll show you live only let's go live to adda 247 see this you go to adda 247 on adda 247 see this yeah look at this on the front page itself click on jib and cib you'll see these two things jib cib mahapack and november december english batch anything you can, you can click okay what is mahapack mahapack is like that ott subscription hotstar netflix everything okay you whatever batches you get uh, will come within the validity you'll get it and presently remember it's a double validity pack going on go for it immediately okay and now i'll show you for this november december english batch click on this batch this is the batch which i'm talking of october 3rd okay click on this batch see this October third batch. Click on this batch. Okay, you'll see the details over here. You can read the details at your ease. Take your time. Take full time. Okay, but don't waste too much time. Okay, take your time means it's not that you'll take one month. Don't take that immediately because eighty percent off is going on right now. Let's see. I'll show you what is eighty percent off. See this. What are the things going over here? One eighty plus hours of live interactive classes. Ebooks are available. subject wise expertise 24 by 7 videos are available and specially designed for december 2022 now look at this fees 17999 you'll say sir 3 months and 17999 okay then click on view offers click on view offers put this code why 432 click on apply now look at this 
Once you click on apply, the fees of 17999 has reduced to 3599. Means 80% off. 80% off, what do you say? Do you get any 80% off on any of the sites any anywhere? Okay, go for it immediately. It's an investment for lifetime. And now I'll show you why am I st uh, stressing everything? Why this December 2022 December? Because look at the portion after December 2022 means May 23. Look at the portion. What is the portion? Look at this. Okay, look at the portion. See this. This is the portion. Now, how many papers are you having it compulsory? ABM, BFM. May 23, you will be having ABM, BFM, ABFM and legal, banking regulations and uh, business law. We will call this legal, okay? So, four papers. Now, we are having compulsory two. Then, you will be having compulsory four. And what about the electives? Electives, now you are having retail, simple one. Then, you will be having what? Rural banking, IT, risk, treasury, central banking, all difficult ones. So clear this exam within December 2022 only. This registration is already started. Register everywhere. Okay. Immediately register for that. For that. Okay. And plus May 23, there is a negative marking. So I'll be back tomorrow with another session. Go for this exam. Go for this class immediately.